So this is a quick video talking about some experiments with drag soldering that I did. After you've put down some tacky flux paste onto the pads for the parts that you're going to be soldering, you need to put the chips down. And this is most easily done with a pair of tweezers, as you can see. You can use the tweezers to adjust the part positions. Then with a hoof tip on your soldering iron, uh, put a little bit of solder on the tip and hold the part down and tack corners of the part. Typically two pins is enough. And because I'm still learning here, uh, getting just the right amount of solder can be a bit tricky. Uh, with SO packages, as you see here, a little bit more solder is fine and in fact required. With tighter pitch parts, uh, you need to use less solder or you get a lot more bridging and other problems. So now that the corners are tacked, put a little bit more solder on and you can see it is drag across. You require very gentle pressure in the downward direction. You don't want to be bending pins or really exerting a lot of force with the soldering tip. You just basically need to drag it across and the combination of the flux and the pool of solder that is on the hoof tip uh, will cause the solder to wick onto the pins and generally not leave any bridges behind. Now you can see I've spun the board around and we're going to solder the other pins on the other sides of these packages. And these don't need to be tacked since the part now is well held down. So on this one I didn't have quite enough solder. You can see I'm sort of struggling to get it to flow. If uh, you're working that hard you probably don't have enough solder. I also look like I wasn't holding the uh, tip perfectly flat onto the board. This one goes quite a bit better. You can see I just drag straight across and the solder wicks onto all of the pins. And this final one also goes pretty well. Just pull straight across and they are all soldered. Once you're done soldering it's very important to inspect the board under magnification to see if you've got any bridging or other problems. With SO packages like this you don't really need a lot of magnification uh, but you really do need some for finer pitch parts. Once you're done with that, uh, clean up the board using alcohol and other standard techniques and you are ready to go.